In this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust and use a torque wrench. This one I have on hand is a 25 to 250 foot-pound uh, half-inch torque wrench. And if you need it for a smaller job, I also have this 25 to 250 inch-pound 3 8 inch torque wrench. Just as a comparison, I'll put it side by side. You can see the length of the two. Okay. Now, both of these are what they call a click type uh, torque wrench, and the reason they call it that is because when you reach that specific torque setting, it'll click. You, act you actually hear a clicking sound to tell you to stop. Now, let me focus on the uh, torque setting here. Okay. Now, there's a gauge here. Let's see if you can see this for the foot pounds. Okay. What I'm going to set this to is 90 foot-pounds. So I'm going to pull this collar back and I'm going to turn it. As I turn this, the dial is going to go up in foot-pounds. I'm going to set this to 90 foot-pounds. Here's 85 see that the 85 is here is lined up with the zero that's 85 if I add five more pounds that's gonna be 90 foot pounds okay so let me grab my socket What I'm going to do here is put the socket on the lug and I'm going to push this down to tighten it until it clicks. Stop. Okay, so that's 90 foot pounds. After you do, you're done with this bolt, you go to the one across it. Now you don't want to do the one adjacent because you want to torque down the bolts evenly, okay? So, you stop right there. Now one thing you don't want to do is when you're torquing these down is to have one hand on the end here, okay, or hold the bar here because that will affect the accuracy of the torque wrench. So all you want to do is one smooth motion, tighten the lugs until you hear the click. Next one over. And that's it. All the bolts are now 90 foot pounds. So, this is how you use a torque wrench. Now, a couple of things to point out is that when you're done with a torque wrench, always, you gotta do this all the time, okay? Is to release the pressure on the spring, the spring in here, and bring the scale back down to the minimum. Okay, in this case, it's gonna be 25 25 foot pounds. This is how you want to store it in the lowest setting. Okay, so I've brought this back down to the lowest setting, and then you can store this. And you don't want to drop this because if you drop it, you can uh, basically get this out of calibration and it won't be accurate. Okay, now the other thing is if you want to loosen bolts, I recommend using either a regular socket set or a breaker bar. This is a breaker bar, okay? Try not to use a torque wrench to loosen bolts. I know there'll be people out there arguing, saying, I've used it to loosen tons of bolts and never had a problem. But if you read the, um, the user manual on these torque wrenches, it specifically tells you not to use it to break loose bolts, okay? And if you want to loosen a bolt, 
there's a breaker bar and you can use this to loosen the lugs. Okay. And after you're done with the torque wrench and you've brought the settings back down to the lowest, put it back to the put it back in the case that I came with. And you're ready to use it again next time. Alright? Thank you for watching.